welcome to LA Spectacular with Norma V. I'm your host, Norma Boco, and I am super excited that I have a wonderful actress, and she just, oh my God, the things that she's doing in Hollywood is just amazing. Her name is Brenda Banda. Mm -hmm. How great is that name? I love Brenda Banda, like BB. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much for being here. How are you doing? I am doing great. This is always fun to do, so thank you for inviting me. <laughs> Absolutely, it's my pleasure. I always love when, you know, with two women get together and we start talking just like, you mm -hmm. know, having coffee. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so natural. So that, yeah, so that's what we're going to do, you know, just, you know, talk and, you know, just have fun, okay. you know? Sounds so, good. um, tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay. okay I know, so that's, yeah. that sounds so Where do I start? <laughs> Tell us a little bit about yourself. I'm like, okay, <laughs> well, and the most, the thing that I'm most proud of is that I am a, a Los Angeles native. I grew up in that South is Central. So awesome! Oh my God! Shout out to South Central. Hey, Yay! the hood. Yeah. <laughs> we are repping. I know, but it's so awesome. You know that. I mean, I'm having a lot of guests, and they're native from yeah. LA and it, that's so unheard of because mm -hmm. we are most of us are transplants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so I'm very proud. I'm very proud to be from LA and I'm very proud to be from South Central because you know LA there's not a lot of people who are actually doing the industry in the industry from LA and then from the hood there's even less people who are out there doing the art so mm -hmm. very proud. Wow that's so awesome. So how did you start in this crazy business? Okay. <laughs> I, okay, when I was little, uh, yeah. we, I lived in Mexico, okay, because I was born here and then we, we went to Mexico and I was oh, in wow. Mexico. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Th that was the opposite. Yeah. No, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> I know, we Mexicans come here yeah, and then you went to Mexico. We went to Mexico. <laughs> okay. I, um, I was like four years old and uh -huh. I used to watch uh, Las Telenovelas de Judy and um, Lucia Mendez. Oh, yeah. I, remember, I don't remember the novela, but it is mio, I don't know, something like that. I, I'm more mio. And anyways, I used to watch the singers. And I wanted to be a singer. Yeah. Um, I wanted to be like Yuri and like Lucia Mendes. You know, now, you, I'm, now you I'm telling see? people how old I am. But <laughs> Do you sing? Do you sing? And that was my first passion. Okay. I wanted to be a singer. I do sing a little bit. And um, I used to get on the little um, mountain of dirt in the backyard. <laughs> I pretended it was your the stage. stage. <laughs> I would see so and awesome. I would see like millions of people. It was my first dream. You're and, like, <sighs> yep, I would hear it because I would see it. I would see these actresses. And I did try singing for, uh, that's what got me into acting. I, I actually, when I got out of high school, I didn't know what I was going to do with my life. Mm -hmm. My parents had gotten divorced and I was like going oh, through I'm a sorry, depression. Yeah. yeah, thank you. And um, I, I was like, well, what am I going to do with my life? Okay, so you went to Mexico. When did you come back to the United States? I was like, um, it, not, not too long. I was like five. Oh, okay. So my first language is Spanish. Mm -hmm. And um, That's so awesome. You don't have an accent. Oh, yeah. I think it's some people say I do really I like I, I have a really thick accent yeah I guess it's been a long time yeah no no I mean I grew up in Mexico I came yeah, here yeah. you know when I was older yeah yeah so but um yeah five and started going to school here okay. I remember, and I was in school in Mexico I remember all that uh -huh. um and um well the first here's the here's the I just went to the Los, uh, the Long Beach Theater Arts Center to take my mom to a show there oh and I remember it went full circle because when I was in for uh, kinder or for first grade, first grade, we were on a field trip. Okay. And I think we went to go see Peter Pan, and I remember because I just I remember the stage opened. Mm -hmm. It was like magic. This dog was running around the stage, and a maid was chasing the dog. And in that moment, I was like, whatever that is, I want to do. I want to do. And how old were you? Like, like some of that chinito, like my skin is. Aww. I was like six years old. <laughs> I didn't even know, but you know, like, como que like the world opened up, and I yeah, was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was. I, I started doing theater after high school. Yeah. Um, first, I did singing. I was taking singing lessons. I wanted to be a singer. I was in yeah. a rock band. I don't know. I, I skipped that part. <laughs> <laughs> out, wow. of, out of high school, I was in a rock, rock. band. Rock. Spanish rock. Rock. Rock yeah. on, baby. <laughs> like like Alejandra Guzman. I thought I was Alejandra Guzman. And um, at that time was, um, yeah. um, ¿cómo se llama la otra loca? Paulina? Oh, no, Gloria Trevi. <laughs> I thought I was Gloria Trevi. <laughs> and I, so I was in a rock band. Yeah. Um, and then I was like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing, so I need to go take classes. So I took classes for singing, mm -hmm. classical cl uh, classes. And then they were having auditions for a musical. Okay. And I auditioned for the musical, and that's it. Theater took over, and acting wow. took over. Wow. So 
That's so amazing. And you've been doing this since then. Oh my God, I've been <laughs> doing this. <laughs> uh, I, there's chill, there's adults the, the age I've been doing this. Like that's our adults out there. The age I've been doing this, yeah. No, but it's, it's so awesome because I saw what you have done and you have done a lot of stuff. I've done a lot of theater and I've done some TV and some film, but a well, lot of theater. Well, I mean, you know, one of my favorite uh, um, series, Gen Gentified. Oh, yes, that you was were, so fun. Oh, my God. I saw that, that you were there and I'm like, <gasps> and your name is Norma. <laughs> yeah, yes, yes, it is Norma. <laughs> so funny. And yeah, but, uh, you know, because you were in the restaurant, I was just like, wait, because, you know, I mean, I watched the whole series. Yeah, thank you. That was a yeah, good show. That was, yeah, that was really cool. And then also you, went on, you were on another one. Uh, what was it? Shameless. Shameless. Oh my yeah, gosh. One of my favorite shameless. series. I know. I was yeah. so happy because I think they're done and I was like yeah, so happy. Done. Yeah, they're yeah. done. I was like, I got on it. And then recently I did um, Grey's Anatomy. Oh, wow. Which I didn't know. This is probably bad of me, but I didn't know that they were still on. When I got the audition, I was like, <laughs> that show's still filming? No, 18 because, seasons? Yeah, no, because when, when, Dr., when Patrick Dempsey left, yeah. you know, I mean, a lot of people stopped watching it. Well, they, but there's so there's a lot of hardcore fans. No, I know, yeah. I mean, yeah. hardcore. Because I told people that I was on it, they went crazy, and I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> I, like, okay. Yeah. I don't watch a lot. This is bad. I don't watch a lot of TV as no? an actress. No, no. no. So what do you watch now? More streaming? Uh, yes, I'm yeah, streaming, and uh, <laughs> that's bad. I'm embarrassed to say that, but I do. It's so funny and entertaining. Yeah, like right. Like the ASMR that I told you about. Anyways, and documentaries. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I want to sound smart. I also watch documentaries. <laughs> So what was the last uh, series that you watch on TV or, 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 or on streaming that you were like, wow, oh. I want to I wanna be on that? Okay. I love mm -hmm. Stranger Things, like shows like that. <gasps> oh, yeah. Smart and like weird and yeah. like sci-fi, but not like gross sci-fi or yeah. violent sci-fi. Like think like, like thoughtful. Like make you think. That, yeah, I, I would love to be on a show uh -huh. like that. I mean, I love comedy because when you're working comedy, you, you're not really working. You're like, it's just funny. It's not true to me. But like that, the, the sci-fi, that's yeah. my, ooh, that, yeah? yeah. Wow. So if anybody's watching. Hey, <laughs> Allah. Yeah, send me a, send me a roll. <laughs> yeah. No, you have a great look. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. No, you can represent me too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, well, that's what we're doing this show because, so, you know, we want to showcase all the Latinas and Latinos right. here in Hollywood because I don't want any gossip, you know? It's like, there's too many of that already. Yeah. I want to, yeah. you know, I want you to come here and have fun, you know, laugh and tell us your story and, you know, how you started and, you know, all that stuff. That's Thank what you. I want, you know? Yeah, So good. Yeah, so let, let's talk about that, you know? Let's, <laughs> let's talk about that. And uh, so that we can <laughs> succeed because yeah. nobody wants to tear anybody down. And no. Help each other, right? That's right, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what we're doing. So anyway, so, so all the stuff that you have done on TV and then you haven't done any movies yet? I've done short films, mm -hmm. and, but I haven't done a feature yet. I was just talking to somebody, this other actor that okay, I Okay, so let's put it on the, out there on the energy, right? Con Goodbyes. Quien? <laughs> Con quien? Uh, yeah, who, do we, you, who would you like to work with? A long time ago, it was George Clooney, but I think I'm, I'm dating. Like, I would love to. I'm like, he could, he could direct me. <laughs> but maybe that was something else I was thinking about. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I don't know if I, uh, this is what I'm ashamed of as an actress. Like, I what? don't watch a lot of, like. Movies? You don't watch movies? I, it's because I, um, I can see right through some stuff. Mm -hmm. The bad writing, the bad whatever. I'm just oh, so like, you're like, you're, you're like watching it and you're like, oh, maybe that shouldn't be there. I just, oh, it needs to be really intelligent. Like, Stranger Things, like, yeah. I just, I'm watching, I'm like, oh, oh, in my brain. Uh -huh. I'm a Gemini, so it captures all that, but. Oh, my God, oh, he's the, a Gemini. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm talking about, like. Our makeup artist is a Gemini. Oh, you, we need more, we need more. Oh, either the comedy has to be really dumb and stupid and funny, yeah. like, I don't think, uh -huh. like, like, um. Like jackass, like I, I laugh at that stuff. It's so violent, but I'm like, it's oh my funny. god, no, that makes me cringe. It does make me cringe, Ooh. but at least you know what it is, and they're not pretending to be anything else. Or the stuff has to be just like really smart. Yeah, I don't like grotesque, gross, bloody, violent stuff. Mm -hmm. I don't like that. I like the stuff that makes me think. So that's why I always get it. Like when people say, well, "What do you like? What do you watch?" I'm like, oh, I like documentaries <laughs> on UFOs yeah. or like. Those are pretty interesting. Yeah, I like yeah. I like all that stuff. Yeah. So what are you working on right now? I just finished a short mm -hmm. uh, for, it's kind of like a Romeo and Juliet oh. take. Yeah, I played uh, the parent. 
Um, and it's about a Latino, a Latina, and an a, a African American young mm -hmm. man who fall in love, and, and it ends up a little bit tragic, you know. Oh. Um, so I just finished that, mm -hmm. and um, did you direct it? Or no, I was in it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah okay. I was in it. It was a short, um, and you know, there's been some very close calls. I'm like, ooh, is this the one? Mm -hmm. I'm like, I'm like wanting to get that that. Uh, series regular or that lead and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna say it's right around the corner. I just got back from Tony Robbins, so I'm just yeah. gonna be like right around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So what would you what would you say to the young ladies, young girls that are watching us right now, you know, laughing and having a great time? Do not get swayed by the boyfriend. <gasps> That's pretty interesting. If you want a career yeah. for yourself in acting have the boyfriends, but date, don't get, I, I, and I, from my personal experience, everything was about my boyfriend and love, and I spent so many years focused on that, yeah. when I should have been learning about business, and I should have been saving money, and I should have, you know, been in school more, and doing more, it, but it was like, it was all about love, and, you know, I, I do believe things happen for a reason, and I'm the type, I'm probably gonna, I'm the type of actress that's probably gonna work like, I, I don't know, I just have an old soul and like, like older, you know, mm -hmm. I wasn't the young ingenue, but if you are the young ingenue, if you're the young, beautiful girl, you, 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 you need to start young. So if you want this, if you want this career, chill out on the men. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> or the ladies, just chill out on all that and focus on your career because uh -huh. love will always be there. Love will, will be there. I know, you know, it's so funny how when we're younger or young, you know, it's like love. It's just like, and then you, you break out with that person you, you thought that you were going to be with for the rest of your life. And you're like, oh, yeah, oh, I'm so dramatic. You so know? Dr <laughs> no, you go from like first meeting them and the excitement and the time that that happens. Then you're in love for years and then that's the time. And then the breakup and then there's more time. And by, by the time you know, it's been 10 years. <laughs> I know, right? You're no longer <laughs> that young. And, come on. Okay. That's my biggest mm -hmm. and learned business. Learn business. That's Learn. one thing I, yeah, I would say. Learn the business. Mm -hmm. Because you know, a lot of times, at the end of the day, you and I are just the product and we need to make sure that we need to know how to market ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know, because in reality, nobody talks about that. Yeah. You know, it's Nobody like, teaches you that. No. And you know, like when I finished uh, my acting class, I was just like, oh, okay, cool. So now I'm going to be famous and mm -hmm. you know, I'm going to be here and I'm going to be there. And, not without the money. <laughs> I know. And then, you know, and then also you need to um, invest mm -hmm. on your, you know, you're the product, so you need to invest on yourself. And you need to keep track of what you're investing and how much of the investment is returning. And you need to keep track so that you know, are you really just spending the money or are you trying to recuperate that investment by like really networking and meeting people and, and talking to them and creating relationships. Oh my God, nobody teaches this. Mm -hmm. Nobody teaches this, but maybe we all should. There needs to be a round table on, <coughs> on the business, on business maybe in general. Maybe we should start that. We should, because it needs to be like, this is business in general and this is business of acting and you can get lost with the art. You can just be like, I just want to Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know, I just want to create. And that's great. But what about your bills? We, yeah. got, we got bills to pay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they need, and they come every single month. <laughs> every single month, yes. <laughs> that's one thing is like, they ne never go away, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like, no matter what you do, you know, it's like, they're, they're coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, just like the other friend. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> right? But, uh, so, that's so awesome. You have such a great spirit. I love oh, having you, you here. And I really appreciate your, you know, coming into the show because we need to have more of you you know, um, to come and just make us laugh and Thank make you. us, you know, just, just so fresh, you know? Thank I you. love it. I love it. Thank you so much. You're I really welcome. appreciate it. So, okay, so you talk about what you're doing now, and then, so what are your long-term goals? Oh, okay, well, uh, in my heart, I'm like an educator. I, I, I did a lot of teaching for theater. Mm -hmm. I think I'm a natural educator, so, like, when I see things that need to be or like I, I have a lot of love for what I didn't know nobody taught me to share it mm -hmm. so long term um, I do I do plan on like how do I how do I help people with business with acting and how do I help them understand that everything is business mm -hmm. and even the art is business and mm -hmm. you and you have to learn that early on and so people don't take advantage of you and yeah. so you know your power so um, 
Would you, would you would you say that you want to have like a school or something? Yeah, I think I, I want to have a center. I want to have a center that teaches kids about ancestry, ancient traditional and ways. And to be proud of who we are. Mm -hmm, to be proud because of who we are. Because that's one thing, you know, I think right now a, a lot of us are getting proud of who we are mm -hmm. and are proud of our skin mm -hmm. color. But before, you know, it was just kind of like such a taboo or mm -hmm. such a bad thing to say, you know, like um, I, I came here in 1990 and I remember after I got divorced, um, I had a boyfriend and I talked about it before and he was so angry all the time and, and you know, and I got to talk to him and I said, why are you like that? And he was like, you know, growing up, I couldn't speak in Spanish, you mm -hmm. know, because that was so, you know, in school they wouldn't allow it, mm -hmm. you know, because they're like, you, you're you here, you need to speak English. Mm -hmm. You know, so they, we, it was kind of like we were embarrassed mm -hmm. that we were Latinos. Or, and now it's yeah. like proud Latino. You now know, it's like Latina. if you don't speak Spanish, you don't work. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It, it, and again, everything's ruled by money. The reason that <clears throat> in, the, in the day they didn't want you to speak Spanish is because you needed to assimilate to be a successful person. You needed to be part of the American way to be successful. Mm -hmm. Now, to be successful, you have to speak Spanish. Mm -hmm. So that, again, it goes back to the business. Like, it's all money. Everything is business. Every, politics, mm -hmm. foreign affairs. I don't care what you throw at me, I'm going to be like, it's business. Because it's business rules the world. That is so true. That, and that's so so awesome that you're saying that because a lot of people like I never thought of that you know that the politics was a business you know it my is. father was a politician but I mean I was so little that I didn't care you know just like I just say I need and I had mm -hmm. you know and, and it's not always obvious <clears throat> but you know mm -hmm. you really look at it and it's like oh wow this is just a business that transaction mm -hmm. between two countries mm -hmm. or between two yeah. whatever yeah yeah that's that's all it is mm -hmm. Wow, so you're so <laughs> philosophical. <laughs> I don't want to bore everybody, but this is why I watch documentaries. This is just the Gemini in me. Yeah. I do have a very silly side, but I have a very, like, my brain is always, like, uh -huh. yeah. calculating. Yeah. So what do you do for fun? I watch weird documentaries. I like learning. <laughs> I like... I, I like learning about like plants and, and mushrooms and how they communicate and like what documentaries on ayahuasca ceremonies. Have you ever done it? I'm too scared of chicken. Yeah. I, I went to Costa Rica and the jungle was so powerful. Mm -hmm. It's I could uh, and I could tell you other uh, we saw some things. There's a there's a in Costa Rica and um, uh, I forget the Chiripo. I think that's the top of the mountain. Um, they have these beings called the praying mantis people. They appeared to us. We saw them. I saw. I, that's how I know. That's how. There's a light, and some people are like she's crazy. I saw it. I brought my friends around it. What is that? Am I seeing a light? And then they took pictures of it, mm -hmm. and it it made a figure, and that's what interests me. What is out there that we don't know? That's a little scary, but it's also kind of like, what does it mean? Yeah. These these beings. They're not alien. They're not. They're not like ghosts. They're not evil. It's just according to the legend, there they're the original people of the world. And they, they, they live mm -hmm. up in those mountains. And we got to see you should do You, you should do a, a show about that. About all the fun stuff like that? Yeah. Oh, man, I should. Yeah. I should. There's so much stuff to talk about. I guess I should have, like, <laughs> on today's show, we're going to talk about aliens. Today, we're going to talk about business. Today, we're going to talk about acting. <laughs> exactly. No, in reality, mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's how it is. You know, each episode has a different, yeah, a different maybe you know. Maybe I could. You could do anything these days, right? Because right. of social media, mm -hmm. like, well, thank you. Maybe I would. I get, you know, it. I guess on the, on, the, on, the, on that said, you know, it's like the pandemic kind of like brought us to where we are now. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like, yes, it was really bad that happened. But at the same time, there's so many good things that happened. So you many. Know? And there's so many businesses that happen, you know, I mean, mm -hmm. me for once, you know, we started an online business, mm -hmm. you know, and I was just, who, who would have thought, yeah. you know, it's like. We make sales and we don't even know who we sell to, you know? It just like comes through and we just, you know, have to send the product. Me know? too. I, I, I started a business in the middle of the pandemic mm -hmm. and it's helped me out so much. I, it's, it's, it's network marketing, which a lot of people run away from, like mm -hmm. growing up like Mary Kay and Jafra and like Avon. Yeah. It's, it's in that realm, but it's, I sell medical grade um, equipment and I have a team and 
and it's so fun because it, it fulfills a part of me that gets to be the teacher and train mm -hmm. and help. Mm -hmm. um, and then I get to have one-on-one -on -one conversations with people all over the world, mm -hmm. help them. And um, it's online and the, the, they, they purchase and they get sent to them. I don't have to send it. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the company sends it and it's I, I, more people should, more actors and artists should do network marketing. Mm -hmm. Really, they should because it, it, it creates it's the like another avenue, the stream of uh, income, income that yeah. the investment is a lot of times very low. Mm -hmm. And if you're somebody that moves and you know a lot of people, you can make money. But there's a taboo on network marketing because, of course, the Avon and the, mm -hmm. there's a taboo. People think that it's well, I think because of the MLS, the mm -hmm. multi-level marketing. You know, and you know, I, people ha I, I think people have lost a lot of money with MLMs, mm -hmm. and that's what it is. But there's a lot of people who've made are millionaires I've learned yeah. and and network marketing is the only only business that you don't need any certification you can step out of jail start a business and be a millionaire billionaire mm -hmm. but never marketing why because I saw it you don't have to speak the language you don't have to be young no you don't have to be educated mm -hmm. you can say okay I see the vision I'm gonna get my product and I'm gonna sell but I think what happens is people some businesses have you you have to buy the product and keep it at your house oh God, and yeah. then you never sell it and that's why it gets a bad rap mm -hmm. but some some network marketings and some MLMs are not that terrible you just got to find the right one mm -hmm. and I'm new to this I found a really great one and um, I, I think that the investment is so low because to open up your own business a small business is at least fifty thousand oh, yeah. dollars and with network marketing it could be from anywhere from two hundred to or fifty dollars to Ten thousand dollars just to open up a business mm -hmm. in network marketing. Mm -hmm. a lot, that's very doable, and they finance you. A lot of these companies will finance you. Oh wow! So bi business is very important. I have my fair share on MLM. Yeah, you did. <laughs> yeah, and I lost a lot of money yeah, too. It, yeah, it, it, yeah, because the systems and sometimes, like everything, there's good doctors, there's bad doctors, mm -hmm. right? There's mm -hmm. good lawyers, there's there's bad lawyers. You just gotta find the right one, and 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 the one that calls you and. Uh, it's the people's business. That's all I gotta say. Mm -hmm. It's the people's business. Yeah, that is so true. Well, it's just like real estate, you know. It's yeah, it's about the homes, but at the end of the day, it's about the, how you treat people. You know, because yep. if you treat people bad, they're not gonna come back to you. They're like, like see ya. Mm -hmm. That's what Tony Robbins was saying. Tony Robbins <laughs> said that business <laughs> is a spiritual practice. Yep. Business is, mm -hmm. and everything is business. Like us in uh, relating yeah. right now, acting, and if you're a great actor, but you're not very nice. Oh. You might not get called back. Yeah. It's a business. You, it's mm -hmm. customers. I was telling you that, uh, Alan, our makeup artist, you know, like, because, you know, he, he's going to start working on another huge pro uh, production. And I was like, you know, if, if so, even when somebody's so talented, but they're not very nice, mm -hmm. No, I don't want to be around that person, mm -hmm. you know, because it's so negative. Mm -hmm. You know, it's it's, it's like no to negativity, you know, mm -hmm. because and even sometimes like somebody's trying so hard and they're so nice, and you know, yeah, give them a break, mm -hmm. you know, give them a chance to do what they're doing, you know, and so I, I'm with you. Yeah. I'm with you, girlfriend. Yeah. <laughs> We need more money in the people's hands. Like, it can't just be all on top. You right. Know? That's yeah. why I like network marketing. Yeah. And it puts the power in people's hands. Uh -huh. So, <clears throat> what, what, is, what, is, what is the future look like for Brenda Banda? Oh, okay, so here's what it is um, a lead in a feature film mm -hmm. and a lead in my own series or like a series regular would be fantastic. Some national commercials. And then start these centers. I already do retreats sometimes, like put mm -hmm. retreats together with my business. Um, yeah, and just helping people like uh, when I do my when I do my acting, yeah. I always feel like if I can make people laugh or I can make them think that's really great. Mm -hmm. um, and then with my business, if I can help them financially or help them with their health, that's really great. Mm -hmm. And so with these schools, it's like teaching people what we don't get taught. Yeah, because we don't get taught a lot of things that we actually need in life. Like yeah. nobody knows how to do their taxes and where the taxes come from, you know, like budgeting their their money. Mm -hmm. We need to learn that. Yeah. Simple things like that, cooking, ancestry stuff, traditional stuff, yeah. and, and other things. Yeah. So the and the future looks like that. It looks like making the money so that I can do the projects, mm -hmm. my passion projects. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you put the time into it, it'll, it'll come. I hope so. Yeah. I hope I get to see you like in a year and be like, no, 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 kids, what? <laughs> <laughs> Remember when yeah. we were having that talk? Yeah. I hope so. Well, it's happening. I hope so. No, well, I wish you the best, and I really appreciate you coming, 
you know, uh, to the show because... Well, thanks to Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. My manager. I love her so much. I thank know. You. I was telling her, Laura used to be my manager. Actually, she's the one that got me into the business. So thank you so much, Laura, because from, you know, from that afternoon that we spent... Well, actually, yeah, it was one day that we spent together when our kids were doing a commercial. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh, you have a great look. Why don't you do it? And I'm like, me? No. <laughs> you do have a great look. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Thank you so much. No, but at that time, you know, I was just, I mean, this is me all done up, you know? I mean, I, seriously, you see me? I'm like the simplest person, you know, with a ponytail, shorts, tennis shoes. I'm still sure that when you're wearing ponytail <laughs> and shorts, I'm sure you're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> no, but thank you so much, Laura, and really, really appreciate, you know, helping us with, with this wonderful actress. and. We wish you the best, Thank and you. You, and I'm pretty sure because you have such a great energy that you're gonna get where you wanna be. Thank you. Hope so. No, no. I hope no. we're here. I hope I'm here to do something good in this world, <laughs> not just take up oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> no, you will. You will Thank because you. you know. I mean, and all the stuff that you have done is fantastic. So you Thank know. You. I mean, you're acquiring the experience, so you'll be there. You'll get there. Thank you. So I really appreciate you coming again you know and so i wish that you can come back later on and you know and we can have another talk and yes. that'll be amazing yes. you know because i, I, I mean i feel like i've known you forever and i just met you isn't that <laughs> nice when that happens <laughs> yeah when you don't have a chip on your shoulder you're just kind of like let's all live yes be yeah uh -huh. because you know i mean when you give that good energy that's what you get oh thank you you know so and you have that you have a great energy so we really appreciate you coming into the show. Thank you. And so we fun wish time. you the best. And like I said, come back and see us again. And and I wish you the best with oh, this show and that you. it grows and that you find yourself in a greater and bigger opportunities and that you call me. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Come on, it's my new show. <laughs> yes, yes, of course. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching, you guys. I am so excited that she accepted our invitation and so Please follow her on her social media. Can you sh share yes, it with them? Yes, it's at Brenda underscore Banda underscore BB. <laughs> Everything you said oh, in the beginning. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. So Brenda easy. underscore Banda underscore BB. BB. Bebe. Uh -huh. Two Bs. Bebe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so that's all. everything on social media? Uh, that's my main one, yeah. And the other ones are business ones. So yeah, you can find me there. Okay, yeah. So follow her and share all her information. Share this video. Like it. And because we want to be everywhere, you know? We want to spread the love. <laughs> and ask I, me any questions, because yeah. I know people are going to have questions about what I talked about. Yeah, so yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I'm your host, Norma Volko, and we'll see you next time. <laughs>